वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ आई मिस एनी विल टीच यू टू पॉइंट वन इन विक्टस आई विल बिगिन बाय रीडिंग द पोएम इन विक्टस बाय विलियम ऑनेस्ट हेनली आउट ऑफ द नाइट दैट कवर्स मी ब्लैक एज द पिट फ्रॉम पोल टू पोल I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul in the fell clutch of circumstance i have not winced nor cried aloud under the bulging of chance my head is bloody but unbowed beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid it matters not how straight the gate how charged with punishment the scroll i am the master of my fate i am the captain of my soul invictus is a latin word which means unconquerable or cannot be defeated this poem teaches us to face trials with resilience to not only overcome them but develop dignity despite all the problems the poem was written while william was in the hospital being treated for tuberculosis of the bone also known as pot disease he was detected with tuberculosis when he was only 12 years old his disease progressed and his leg left leg had to be amputated at the age of 17 now tb is such a disease that whichever organ is affected the organ stops functioning and spreads infection so it has to be amputated or cut after treating for 5 years the disease progressed to his foot and the doctors announced that the only way to save his life was to amputate or cut when he was 17 years old the poet in this poem is telling us that all his life he was fighting and was invictus and unconquerable and undefeated in the face of trials and tribulations he died at the age of 53 we begin with the first stanza out of the night that covers me black as the pit from pole to pole i thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul In the first stanza the poet compares the darkness of the night to the struggles and hardships that he had to face all his life like tuberculosis of the bone disease he had at the age of 12 the poet sees no way for his solution in this darkness and did not know what his future holds for him so the poet was drowned in suffering and pain and it is like a dark deep pit from which to come out it is difficult sorrow and sadness had surrounded him like a web and in spite of taking the best treatment and leaving no stone unturned from the age of 12 to 17 yet the doctors were helpless he tried all his treatment from north pole to south pole that is a long distance of his suffering but whatever terrible situation he faced he thank god for whatever god may be uh, he was unconquerable and undefeated soul he still thank god for not been weighed down by this disease for being courageous fearless with strong will power in overcoming obstacles and was able to defeat death with determination we move to the second stanza in the fell clutch of circumstances i have not winced or cried aloud under the bulging of chance my head is bloody but unbowed the poet says that he had fallen in the clutch 
or wicked trap of difficult situation that is circumstance he suffered so many hardships due to his treatment of tuberculosis that despite suffering he never winced or cried due to pain or cried loudly he never got scared of dangerous situation nor displayed or showed any sign of disappointment he was courageous though he was violently beaten up and trapped in cruelty though the poet had to undergo lot of surgeries there were many wounds on his body and his head was bleeding but still he did not bow down or give up but had self confidence and held his stra- held straight beyond this place of broth and tears looms but the horror of the shade and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid in the third stanza poet william says that hospital is a place of anger and tears as people are frustrated because of their sickness and they cry in suffering and pain the shade are the shadow of horror means fright which keeps looming or hanging over their head in other words the shadow or threat of death was always there all his life but he always faced adversity with courage and was fearless it matters not how straight the gate how charged with punishment the scroll i am the master of my fate i am the captain of my soul the poet william says that it does not matter how straight which meant a narrow passage between two land here it meant a narrow passage to the gates of heaven where god decides after death by writing the good and bad deeds in a scroll that is the sheet of paper and accordingly decides the punishment the poet says that his sickness has made him so strong that he is ready to accept whatever punishment god is going to give him because he is the master of his fate or destiny he is the captain of his soul the spiritual being through this poem the poet says that no matter what the situation is he will always be in full control of his life and wants to be an ardent fighter of difficulties and have a never say die attitude poetic device are as follows black as the pit from pole to pole this figure of speech is simile darkness of the night is compared to his dark life the second one in the fell clutch of circumstance is personification where circumstance is given the human quality of clutching the third one i am the master of my fate i am the captain of my soul is repetition where i am is repeated for poetic effect the fourth one out of the night that covers me is metaphor where night stands for the hardships and sufferings of the poet the fifth one my head is bloody but unbowed the figure of speech is imagery where it creates a visual vivid picture of the bleeding head critical appreciation of the poem invictus is written by william ernest henley there is no rhyme scheme in the poem so it is a free verse the figure of speech are metaphor simile personification imagery and repetition the line black as the pit from pole to pole is simile darkness of night is compared to his dark life the central idea of the poem is revolving around a poet's struggles and hardships that he had encountered at a very young age 
and how in spite of all these trials and tribulations he fought with resilience to not only overcome them but also develop an attitude where he believes that no matter what the situation is he will always be in full control of his life the poet wants to be an ardent fighter of difficulties and have a never say die attitude for your assignment you will write the answers of four questions which are given on page 28 and the english workshop on page 29 thank you